Uh. Yeah, I see him in the street struggling, young, dumb, and thugging, give a fuck about nothing. Stuck at rock bottom, trying to come up on something. Pumping from sundown to sun. Imagine if you guys clicked on this video, you saw another reactor, 10 years older, playing the part of Street Justice. I'm pretty sure it would throw you guys off just a little bit. That's pretty much what the show did to us last week with certain characters. And I'm still not completely on board with these changes, but that's all right. What's up, guys? Street Justice here. Welcome back to my channel. We are back with a reaction to House of the Dragon, the season one, episode seven, Drift Mark. And as I just mentioned, last week, we saw the change of certain characters and actors playing them, mainly the older versions of Renera and Allison. And I got to be completely honest with you guys. They haven't completely won me over just yet. I know it's only been one episode, and you guys let me know in the comments also that really... It was kind of necessary they had to do it because the me the story takes place in the future with some characters that we haven't even met yet not yet that but after spending half a season with these actors and actresses playing these characters it just really sucks to lose them i gotta give it some time it's gonna take some getting used to i'm sure it will they'll win me over at some point but uh yeah like i said as of right now i'm still not very fond of the changes but we did see a major player rise in the game of thrones and that is laris Man, this guy is completely savage, taking out his brother and the Hand of the King, his own father, who might have been the most honorable man in the show. He always gave the best advice. It really sucks losing Lionel. I'm going to miss him, but uh, yeah, I'm really interested to see what else Laris has got up to sleeves. If you guys are looking for my full reactions to the show, link to my Patreon is down in the description below. If you subscribed to the channel, now's a very good time to click that button down below. Smash the like button while you're there. With that said, let's jump right in. Let's check it out. Let's go. That's a cool shot. The light coming down. That was a powerful scene also, last episode, when we saw it go down. There he is. Yo. Hand of the King once again. Shouldn't be celebrating like that. Oh, or like that. Viserys. Damon. My little cousins have lost their mother. Could use a kind word. I've an equal claim to sympathy. Jess. He knows. The Valerians are out. And the Strongs are out. Look at me. Do you understand? Pan turns me. We have nothing in common. Hmm. She's our sister. You marry her then. Definitely Spend trying to listen to what she's saying. Valerian blood cure. She's an idiot. She premonitions. We actually do have one thing in common. We both fancy creatures with very long legs. It is only a look of pride, Sir Kristen. Larys is the new Lord of Harrenmon. Well, he got what he wanted. Lost a brother, lost a father, father, but... Gets to be Lord of Harrenhal now. Say something. He doesn't even have to, just being there. Both my seat and high tide will be yours one day, Viserys. My brother will be king, of course. Sorry, I don't want to. It. It's your birthright, lad. Mm. From the Lord Driftmark, it means everyone's dead. It does. Surprise, Corliss doesn't seem to mind that his grandchildren aren't really his grandchildren. He, obviously, he knows. So many kids in this show now, running around. We're moping around. Oh, wow. Retrieve your patron. Very interesting to see the way everyone's positioned right now. Obviously, King Viserys is just chilling there. People standing around him. Damon just leaning off to the side on, the, on a ledge. Your girls are the very image of their mother. The gods can be cruel. It seems they've been especially cruel to you. Especially? Yes. I know we've had our differences. But let them pass with the years. I just want to see these two brothers be close. Have each other's backs. I need nothing. He's grieving. Brother. Seems to be handling it well for the so most part, though. Friends. No. Go to bed, Shall I see after Queen Alice in your face? No, Sarah. 
You have the night's watch, Sir Kristen. Oh, he just like kicked him. Dragging him off. Yeah, I think it's bedtime for just about everybody right now. The crown was yours until those fools at the Great Council plucked it from your head. Still going on about this, eh? I gave up the idea of wearing a crown a generation ago. It is you, Lord Husband, who refuses to abandon this pursuit, mm -hmm. even now at the cost of our children. Keeps on bringing it up. Every single time we see these two alone, he's like, it was supposed to be yours. You were supposed to wear it. I want Driftmark to pass through Lena's line to Bela, to true Valarian blood. You would have me cast an even darker shadow over those little boys than already exists. We are alone. Yeah, that won't go you well. Speak the plain truth as we both know it. It's kind of obvious. My nearest children are not of your blood. He had to have known, though. But I feel like are. he just didn't want to believe it. They are her legacy. History does not remember blood. It remembers names. Mm. That's all that matters. Karen's curse is said to be as strong now as it was after the conquest. It's a ghost story. One Sorosu and the Queen would gladly exploit. I do not believe Alicent capable of cold murder. She was the cause of it, but... She was as capable of depravity. We saw her reaction to it afterwards as well. And more than you would believe. She was kind of taken back a bit. You abandoned me. I spared you. You were a child. Yes. Yes, I was a child. And yeah, she did a good thing. Without you. Did you love her? We were happy enough. Well, that in itself is a great achievement. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he was so into her. There's some looks being exchanged right now. There's some moves being made right now. This was like a long time coming though. No pun intended. Damon and Renera sitting in the tree. Oh. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Would it be HBO? Would it be Game of Thrones? Would it be House of the Dragon? That was some bow chicka bow wow. It could have been more than a week since the last episode. When they were both with someone else. Renera? At least older Renera. She's a bit of a floozy, I swear. She's like, alright, go to bed kids. Almost got some things to do. I did hear that one like premonition from his sister, what she was saying, the ramblings, last episode. Which does have me a bit concerned. Something about losing an eye or you'll have to give an eye. Look at the size of this thing. I thought it was tied down at first. I guess that's just to climb up. Makes sense, it's so big. I open it up. Yo, that's scary as fuck. Game pass. It's like, I just warned you. To carry. Look at the size of this thing. It's just looking at him like, what are you doing over there? What do you think you're doing? Stop it! Is he gonna listen? They're watching. Yo, look at this thing. See how it gets going? That's awesome. Yo. How is he hanging on? I guess this is like the test. If you're gonna make it or not. fell off right away. Woo! Yo! This is like giving me a head rush going down. Birds. This might be the coolest dragon riding scene we've got yet. Just because we're actually seeing him like trying to learn. 
would definitely need something to strap myself in though. I would not feel comfortable just hanging on like he was. Man, look at the details of the wings too. You actually see the frame of the dragon in the wing. Have permission. I wonder if that's gonna start some more drama. Yep. It's him. It's me. Vega, it's my mother's dragon. Mm. Your mother's dead. Vega has a new rider now. She was mine to claim. Then you should have claimed her. <laughs> oh! Come at me again and I'll feed you to my dragon. <laughs> I've never seen a kid fight like this. Oh, he was holding his own. I thought he was like the weaker one. Doesn't know, does he? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking hit him with the rock. Oh, yeah, someone's gotta stop this. Oh! Oh! That's how it happens! Yo! Sliced him. I was thinking it was gonna happen with the dragon. Could be good. How could you allow such a thing to happen? King of God has never had to defend princes from princes. That friend. is no answer! Yo, mm -hmm. fuck Reston. Why not, mister? Flesh will heal. <sighs> the eyes lost your grace. Fucking crazy. Kind of at a loss for words. That whole scene, the whole kid fight. I've never seen kids fight like that. I've seen play out like that. Who did this? Who attacked me? I didn't kill Jerry. I didn't do anything. And now, my son's telling me to kill Silence. This is gonna start a war. Tensions already brewing. The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. What? Called his bastards. My sons the smirk. are in line to inherit the Iron Throne, Your Grace. This is the highest of treasons. Where did you hear this lie? The insult was training our bluster. The lot of boys, it was nothing. Amen. Don't snitch. Where's the nail? Stitches get stitches, Amen. Perhaps he might have something to say in the I know he's got like yes, 40, right, but still. Your kingdom Now look. Us. Who spoke these lies to you? Looked right at Allison. Protecting her. Anon! He's got to think of something quick. Tell me the truth of it. We know, Father. Everyone knows. Just look at them. Kind of obvious, man. I was saying last episode, can't really judge like that, but the hair, the color, yeah. We are family. It's on full display too. Now make your apologies and show goodwill to one another. Your father. Your grandsire! Your king demands it! One arm just flopping around. Half an arm. Stump. That is insufficient. What would you have me do? There is a debt to be paid. Take one of theirs. An eye for an eye. I shall have one of her son's eyes in return. Yo, I'm just fucking around. Sir Kristen. Bring me the eye of Lucerius Valarian. Mother. Allison. He could choose which I to keep a privilege. He did not grant my son. Anyone whose tongue dares to question the birth of Princess Rhaenyra's sons should have it removed. Thank you, Father. Kind of goes back to what Corlys was saying about name, not blood. Oh! She went for herself. Damon stopped Kristen, too. You went too far. I. I done, but what was expected of me? But now they see you as you are. Slicer? Drew blood. God damn. It's their entire forearm. Is she gonna stand there? Do not warn me, mother. It was a fair exchange. I may have lost an eye, but I gained a dragon. This proceeding is at an end. This is fucking nuts, man. This whole scene, too. Sides are being chosen right now. I don't really know where I stand, if I'm being completely honest. 
I kind of like both. I think Allison is more in the right, if I'm being completely honest. If they would have changed actresses, though, I would have been more towards leading Same to Renera. I disgraced myself. Did you show up with my husband's face? They were forever rest on her. And yet... There's more that can be done. I've never seen that side of you, my daughter. He liked what he saw. We play an ugly game. Mm -hmm. And now, for the first time, I see that you have the determination to win it. The boy was right. It's worth a thousand times the price he paid. Lost an eye, gained a dragon. If it's not you want, balance the scales. I am your servant. Careful what you say to him. I think she's looking at him like that too. Like I don't know what to say to you. Not be necessary, but your devotion is not going unnoticed. These are dangerous times. The day will doubtless come when I require such a friend. Definitely best to keep him on your side. With not only skill, but discretion as well. I shall await your call, my queen. In Pranach, I marry Zala Kwanitilix. We could not marry unless Leonor were dead. Mm. I know. Man, he's actually a good guy. I heard about your exploits in the Stepstones. So Carl. There are places across the narrow sea where it doesn't matter what a man's name is, only how much gold he possesses. We are asking our name, Lord. A quick death. One with witnesses. We rule through terror. The tyrant rules only through terror. Are we gonna see it here? <laughs> Why are you in my father's hall? You have always looked down on me. My lord. Yes, do something. Don't just fucking stand there, kid. Let's fight to the death. This will cost Lord Corliss and Princess Rhaenys their only remaining child. And the realm will whisper that I was somehow responsible. Yo! Holy hell! No! Extra crispy. Bonded by blood. Easter's like, God damn it, I just stitched you up. It's officially official. And the episode's still not over. What? Took the gold and he got out of there. What does that mean for the future though? I can only assume he's gonna make a comeback at some point. Or does he just want to fuck off? He knows now that there was a hit out on for him. There was a bounty on his head, pretty much. He was supposed to be dead right now, so it seems like his lover actually stayed true to him, which is cool. And it seems like he was a good guy, so I really didn't think he deserved to die there. I actually thought he did. That threw me for a loop. Man, was I ready to know the book, too? I always got to ask you guys, after all these episodes, Whenever fucking something crazy happens like this, I gotta ask, like, is this from the books? Does it actually play out this way exactly? Is it staying true to the book? So, yeah, that was freaking awesome. This might have been, I'm pretty sure I've said this like four or five different occasions now throughout the season, but this might have been the best episode of the season. Like I was saying at the end there too, for the most part of the episode, I was ready to just basically say, this is a very good episode, but... Man, the last few minutes, it went from very good to fucking incredible. I loved it. All right, guys, that was House of the Dragons, Season 1, Episode 7, Driftmark. What an incredible episode, guys. We saw Eamon lose his eye. I kind of knew that was coming. I didn't know how it was going to play out, though, because I definitely listened to his sister and what she was saying last week with the previous episode and her, like, ramblings there, her premonitions almost. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be listening closer to what, what else she has to say now, especially that this has come true. But to see that all play out, that was absolutely fantastic. I thought he was going to lose the eye when he went for the dragon because that's basically what she was saying before, right? In order to gain a dragon, you must give an eye or something like that. Something to that effect. So because of that, because of the way it was said, Ghost, come to say hello. You haven't popped up for a video for a while. Hey, were you sleeping? He's getting pretty big now. Hey, buddy. All right. Because the way that she actually said it, though, in regards to aiming and losing the eye, just in order to gain the dragon, I thought him losing the eye would 
come from the dragon itself. That was not the case because the dragon even warned him, man. That kid was pretty brave. And I thought he was like the weakling too because of last week when he was like, they're playing pranks on him all together, both families. Like he was kind of like the, the butt of the joke there. But this week he, he was not playing anymore. He, he had enough. Seeing that fight scene amongst the kids too, man. I've never seen like a kid fight scene play out and be that hardcore. That was freaking great. Props to all the kids involved in actually filming that and making it seem real and doing a good job with that scene. But that was one of the most intense scenes of the episode. But going back just a little bit there before we go any further. The dragon riding, man, I would not have done that. Eamon is definitely a G now. He's a, he's a G in my books. Just going to the dragon itself, like reaching out to it. The dragon looked up from its slumber. Wolf from its slumber is like, yo, don't do that. <laughs> and then Eamon, he still went ahead, did it anyway. The dragon's just looking at him like, yo, what are you doing over there, kid? I just warned you. It opened up his mouth, opened up the flames. That's when he started doing the chants, the commands and everything. And then, yeah, he just started climbing it. Man, I would not want to ride one of those dragons like that, the way that he did. I would have fallen off. Like, he was hanging in there, not even on the dragon, like, off the dragon. He was hanging for dear life. I would have need something to like strap myself in. I would build that custom job for sure if I'm gonna ride a dragon, but that scene was absolutely incredible. I don't think we've got many scenes like that. Pretty much every dragon rider that we have seen, maybe aside from Khaleesi going back to Game of Thrones, but almost every dragon rider that we have seen, they pretty much already know how to ride the dragon when we do see them. It was so cool to see just him actually gain the respect of the dragon and taking it for a ride and actually staying on it, then bringing it back also. I knew drama was gonna come right. As soon as he landed, that's when it, the thought really hit me. I'm like, wait a second, that's Damon's wife's or it was Damon's wife's dragon. Is this gonna cause some drama here? And yes, it did. As soon as he got back, he got called out for it by Damon's kids actually. They were the ones like, yo, that, that was my mother's dragon. So. I kind of understand where they were coming from. They they have the right to be upset, but then <laughs> Eamon, he's just like, yo, this is my dragon now, bitch. Like, free game, fair game. You were supposed to reign it, supposed to be yours. You didn't, it's mine now. So yeah, that that's when the actual fight took place to see it all play out too. Like, man, he was taking on each one of those kids one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously he's bigger than them, a little bit older, I think, but they all ran at him afterwards too, and then he fought them all off, and then that's when the blade was actually pulled out after getting hit with a rock too. Sliced his eye, he lost the eye, that's where it actually came from. Man, that whole scene was absolutely incredible. Like, from that point on, once Eamon went for the dragon, the entire episode just kept on getting better and better. I feel like it was a little bit slow at the start, but then that point on, man, it just went to incredible it, it reached incredible depths for how amazing this episode actually was. And then, obviously, the drama that came from that with Viserys. I feel so bad for Viserys, too. This man, he's like, chunks of him are falling off. He's lost arm. You see him, like, throwing it around there, too, as he's, like, yelling at everybody, like, calm the fuck down. Just be happy. Who claimed this? Nobody's listening to him. His arm is still dangling around there. He saw what the drama that actually came from that also. Allison, man, I've already said, like, she's, she's reached G status. That scene also, when she basically said, an eye for an eye, like, King Viserys, what you're saying, to basically just put it behind us, our son got maimed, that's not good enough. I want one of her kid's eyes, and you can choose which one. And then Kristen, bring me one of the eyes, and obviously he's just like, hey, don't threaten me with a good time, I'm down. But that whole scene was freaking nuts. I was on the edge of my seat. I don't even know how I react to that. There's certain scenes for, like, Game of Thrones, these shows that I watch where they reach, like, certain intense levels where I kind of just zone out. Like, I just jump fully into the show, fully immersed, and I kind of forget the camera's really there, like, completely. So I don't even know if I was talking, if I was just, like, so engaged with it. But that's how you know you got something good on your hands, a good episode that I am watching. So I freaking loved it. And then seeing the slice, too, man, Allison was not having it. After she shot, got shot down for... The taking of the eye she's just like fuck that i'll take it myself the queen will get her own justice she grabs the dagger goes for radera slices her wrist or her entire forearm and she just stood there everybody was basically just watching and i was like um is nobody gonna do anything like you might want to patch her up that's how people kill themselves they slice their forearm exactly like that with the dagger like that as sharp as it is yeah that scene was freaking nuts Completely blew my mind. That was like one of the high points of the episode. I thought it was basically going to end soon after that too. Especially when Renero was just standing there with her arm bleeding. Everybody just looked around in silence. Fade the black. That was not the case. There's more stuff that I got to get to for this episode too. We finally saw, before I go any further to the next crazy, crazy thing that we saw happen. Renera and Damon... 
they are finally a thing. It's been a long time coming. I said this joke in the episode, but no pun intended. David was holding out before, got a little bit blue, blue ball. Well, I guess wasn't really, I guess it was kind of his own doing, but uh, yeah, to see it actually take place now, those two become a thing. It was so soon after too, he just lost his wife. She kind of lost her side piece. So they're just like, yeah, even though she technically, technically still has a husband, they were both saying the same thing too, both on the same page, like, hey, if we're gonna move together, move in together here, make it official, this guy, he, he's gotta go. And I really didn't wanna see him die because even though he's not like a major player in things, at least up until this point, he's kind of just been off, hooking up with his side piece, getting drunk, doing his own thing, not even the father of the children. He's just off there, just having some fun. He seems overall like a good guy though, like even what he was saying to Renera at the end. And for Renera to say that to Damon and to go along with that with Damon, after she had that talk with her husband, uh, I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling that, to be honest. That was kind of like super shysty. So it was pretty cool to see. I'm surprised Damon didn't just go ahead and do it on his own. But it was pretty cool to see the lover of Renera's husband actually get paid off instead of Damon just doing it on his own. And instead of him just taking the goal, going through the kill, running off, he actually got the gold, went to his boy toy his lover is like yo let's share this they want me to kill you i'm not gonna do it obviously we didn't see that scene it was kind of like a surprise at the end there and then he shaved his head it made it look real so whose body oh, it just hit me right now i thought initially it was a guard that's how he got in there i'm pretty sure let me know if i'm wrong in this but because i was just thinking whose body was that but we did see damon snap the neck of the one guy so wait Okay, I'm a little bit confused now. My mind, it's going crazy here. Let me, let me try to figure this out. Initially, just now, I was thinking that Damon had paid off the lover of Renera's husband to kill him and then run off. But then I was also saying, why didn't Damon just do it himself? So was Damon actually in on it where he didn't want to kill him? I'm pretty sure it played out like that, right? Am, am I crazy here? Because if, initially, I was thinking when I was watching the episode, that Damon snapped the neck of the one guard so the lover could get in and kill Renera's husband. But now I'm pretty sure, just to say, repeat myself here to say it quickly, just to make sure I got it right, Damon killed that one, who was the one guy that Damon killed? I guess it was just some random dude that he used to actually put in the fireplace. So Damon was in on it with the lover to get Renera's husband out there instead of actually killing him. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I probably got it wrong. I thought I might have been onto something there, but yeah. Let me know if I am wrong, guys, because there's a few different things, a few different ways that it could have gone there, but I think I got it right. I could be wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if I am wrong. I'm wrong most of the time, so let me know, guys, in the comments down below exactly what occurred with that. Because, yeah, when I was watching it, I was thinking one thing, but now that I'm kind of like going through everything here in my mind, I'm thinking something else here. But, yeah, that whole scene, too, that definitely threw me for a loop. I honestly, they, they got me. I thought he was dead. And then to see him after with the shaved head, he took off the, the hood and everything. I saw somebody running up. I'm like, who is that? That's not Damon, because we saw Damon with the hood before when he went to the lover to pay him off to give him the gold. But then we saw, no, that was actually Renera's husband with the shaved head. He lives. So what does this mean exactly, though? Like, clearly Corliss, his father, and his mother, like, she was shrieking at the end there. They weren't in on it. So what does this mean exactly with him still being alive and being out there? Obviously, this could come back. Like, he knows the truth that Renera tried to kill him. And I guess Damon, but Damon actually saved him? That's the part that I'm a little bit confused on, but at least Renera. I I'm confused, guys. Let me know, because as of right now, I'm thinking that he knows that Renera actually did try to kill him. She doesn't know that he's still alive, or does she? Let me know that. That's one of the other things I'm a little bit confused by, but clearly... Corliss and the queen who never was, they were not in on it because at the end there, she was shrieking, going off on her knees, like she's lost her daughter, now she lost her son. Man, I kind of feel bad for both of them there. At the start of the episode too, man, Corliss, I guess he just didn't want to believe it because he was going up to Renera's kids, like trying to help them a little bit, like this is gonna be yours in the future, this is how it's gotta be, when it's pretty obvious at this point that they're not his grandchildren, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe he just didn't want to bleed, but I guess it kind of goes back to what he was saying also later on in the episode where he's basically like, it's not about blood, it's about name. So even though he may have known that they're not his grandchildren, by name they are, and that's all that really matters. So yeah, man, what an incredible episode, guys. 
I can't wait for the remainder of the season. We got three episodes left. The Lord of the Tides, the Green Council, the Green Council, and the Black Queen. Man. Season one is just getting better and better. I'm loving this show. I kind of didn't think so much about the change of characters or actors playing the characters this episode. So I guess that's definitely a good sign of things to come also if I'm kind of getting that immersed where I'm not even thinking about the change. So that, that's, that's definitely another positive. Another positive, we saw the return of Otto. And man, he is so good. Like, the way he plays things, he just sits back. Like, his first episode back, he didn't try to do too much. He was basically just watching. I think the only time that he actually spoke up while shit was hitting the fan was, Allison, don't. Like, he knew how to, like, step back. So did Damon. And then Damon actually, like, he knew when to step in also. So that he was kind of on, kind of similar to Otto, which is very interesting because they hate each other so much. But they, they definitely chose their sides at that point, which is great to see. The marriage took place. Man, I, I don't know how the remainder of the season is going to play out, but I'm definitely hyped for it. <sighs> this show is so freaking good. I really didn't know if this show was going to be even half as good as Game of Thrones. But I got to say, guys, it, it, it's getting good. I'm freaking loving this show. Hopefully you guys are as well because it is great. But I think that's just about it for me. As always, definitely know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys can like and subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. Till next time, I am out. Enjoy your day. Peace. Well, I didn't smoke enough for you. Didn't drink enough for you. Wasn't fun enough for you. Wasn't good enough for you, Dan. You play me like a yo-yo and shit. Well, I am not the one to be.